we can easily, easily determine the kind of dog you should own. So this is definitely a Jane quiz. Because, you know, it's got dogs in it. Um, if you can post the link in the chat now, in, in the chat now, please. Um, if you are playing along, leave your answers until the end. And then we'll have a nice little discussion with them. See what it means about people. Uh, see who, what kind of dogs people get. I only killed like two dogs. wasn't that bad. Anywho. So, are you a dog person? Have you ever wondered what kind of dog or dog breed you should own? Based on this 10 question personality test, we will determine exactly the type of dog you should get. The result might shock you. So buckle up. <laughs> Let's start. What would you say that you make plans to follow through with? Or would you say you make plans and follow through with them? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah? Bear in mind that says goal. Whereas I'm taking that as plans as in social events. Uh, doing stuff I intend to. Uh, so I'd say usually. The only time it wouldn't is if it's like my own thing. So I'm very good I'm very good at making a plan for through with it if it's for someone else. So whether it's be coming to someone's stream or their social event or whatever. Uh Mr Midnight in the chat will attest. Uh very much I'm good at planning things I guess. Um so yeah, God this you wouldn't think I had an ad blocker on this, Jesus. Um so yeah, so I'm gonna go with usually because Typically, I like to have a plan to then follow. Don't really like, I don't really like winging it very much. So, yeah, I think I'll go with that. Uh, usually, just realised I've got the chat the completely wrong place to help me out here. Uh, hang on, my chat's hiding somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh You know what, I'm just gonna cheat and use this one. No, I have a bigger one for when because basically when we get to the end of this everybody puts loads of crazy stuff in the chat. And the bigger one helps me track it. There we go. That'll do. That'll do Right. Are you an assertive person? Remember what assertive means? As in like... M motivated? Assertive as in like eager to accomplish goals? Is that what it is? I just want to get the correct definition rather than me guessing. You will always say what you think. Stand your ground. Uh... I can be. I can take charge of a situation, but I tend not to want to. I'm up front, but I wouldn't say that makes me assertive. Do I put not sure, or do I put yes? Am I actually more assertive than I think I am, or am I actually more just more laid back and will only sort of take over if I need to. Having or showing a confident and forceful personality. I'm torn with you to be goaded. Yeah, that's fair. Not sure. Because I can be. The reason the reason is because I can be. Uh, but it tends to be more if the situation needs it. Usually I'm happy if I just let someone else take over. Um, and 
I don't feel like I need to stand my ground on something if I'm fine with whatever the other person's doing. I'll happily stand back and let the other people do their thing. Even sometimes if I'm not that fussed by it, it's like, right, well, you let you go ahead and do that thing. I'm not fussed. Do you worry a lot? Yeah. I think I do. Oh, really? Sorry. Unfortunately, I'm not going to drag it out. Send me what yours is on Facebook, and I'll put it in afterwards. Uh, so I'm going to put, yeah, but I'll worry about the, uh, the lesser things. Like what people think sometimes, what people think of me I worry a lot about. Which seems hilarious because I'm streaming, but, um... To be, to be honest, the bigger things is what I don't worry about. But I worry a lot about the littler things. Like having a plan. Or... Did I say the wrong thing to this person? Did I do this right? Did I do this wrong? Um, and when I do worry, I worry pretty hard. I get pretty ill over it. So I'm going to say yes. Are you a deep thinker? I think I'm an overthinker. I overthink things quite a lot. Um, hmm. Deep thinker. Uh, deep thinker means like sort of philo philosophical, doesn't it? Which I'm not really. I'm not much of a philosophical fear. I'm going to say not sure because. I think a lot about what happens after you die and all that stuff. But really, like, and the and the big picture, what happens, happens. So therefore, it doesn't require much thinking. Uh, I'm going to say not sure for that one. How do you usually feel in the morning? Tired. Pretty much always tired when I first wake up. Uh, it takes me a lot to come round. I, mean, I don't have like coffee or anything, but I've got to be like into the day, and then I'll be all right. But to start off with, that can be pretty shit. <laughs> what? Pick a friend to confide in. So I recognise the face but don't know the name. Kind of the face but don't know the name. Angelina Jolene. I'm pretty sure that's a footballer so you can go and boil his head. Justin Bieber. Miley Cyrus. Ryan Gosling. Or a doggo. I mean, pick a friend to confide in. Probably the dog. I don't think I'd trust any of them. They're busy people. So, I'll take the dog. <laughs> right. What's your political ideology? Extreme left? Left. In the middle. Right. Extreme right. What? Now. I have zero political opinions. Zero. Uh, I have no interest in politics at all. I am aware it has a major effect on the world, um, but I don't feel like anything I can contribute to it would change that fact or help me in any way. So I'm just going to go with what, because I don't even know what half of those mean. And it's I, I think in the middle kind of makes me say, so split screen on my phone wasn't happy, took quiz busy, it's accurate, so we already have the type dog. It said I should have. Right, okay, we're not finished yet, so... I think I know what dog you've got, but just leave it till the end, just in case. Um, in the middle indicates I do have some kind of um, political opinion, but I don't, so that makes more sense to go with what. Do you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people? 
Ah, right. So I hate beating new people. Because I feel like it's a lot to take in. Um, for those that know me, they might agree. No, because Scott does it to me. What? Oh, right, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, those that know me might agree, I class myself as a social chameleon. And basically, I can kind of naturally warp myself to the person's interest. Not in a, like, lying kind of way, but in the sense of, like, if someone's not a fan of dark humour, I'll not... I'll not use that part. I'm very, I, I have a very, 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 very dark humour. Um, I'll joke about pretty much anything, but if another person's going to be offended, I'm just not going to. So that bit goes out the window. If the person is a bit, um, not crude, what's the word? Prude. If, if they're a bit of a prude, I'll leave all the sexual innuendos out. I'll, I'll not make an innuendo of every single thing they're saying. That'll go out the window. Um, and I'll just keep doing that until... I have the person, I, 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 in a compatible state where the other person will enjoy my company or whatever. Um, if they're not very talkative, I can kind of help fuel that. If they don't want to talk, I'm absolutely fine with silence. So that's also a thing. Um, so yeah, I think it's, I think it's very broad in my, not in my interests, but like, I'm very tolerant of people. So in doing that, I can kind of mould myself to how I need to. So I don't find it difficult, I just don't like it. Um, but if you were to say, right, you go and tell that person who you are, I'd be like, uh, um, uh, I'd feel horrible. Um, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with totally. I've never had it where, I mean, <laughs> someone might pop up and jam me like, no, no, I think you're a dick. Um, but I've never had it where someone's been up and been like, you come across as a bit of a twat. I don't like you. Usually it's like, oh, yeah, no, you think this would be. Really nice. What's that? You want to kill kids? Okay, never mind. Go away. Go go totally. I don't want to kill kids. It's just I could joke about it. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah, exactly. Social anxiety. I can kind. I can deal with it by being observant, uh, listening, all that kind of stuff. But in terms of me just being like, "Hi, I'm a person," it's really hard for me. Um, at least with streaming, I've got like a wall. Or it's like people have come to see me, kind of thing. Depends on the fire I get from me. Yeah, which absolutely makes sense. There's nothing worse when you come up to someone and you're like, you know what? I just don't want to spend time with you. But, like, again, the trick is, like, I, I wouldn't say that makes you a bad person. If you get a bad vibe from someone, you probably shouldn't be making the effort to introduce yourself or come up or, like, talk to that person. Um, I don't see a problem with that at all. Um, but it's it's kind of like the social anxiety of I don't want to be thought of as a bad person. But overthinking it in the sense. So I will warp myself to the way the per to the way I, I'm pretty sure the person of the side will like me. Which is all I want. Just want to be liked. Just want to be liked. I like animals, not really people, so I just pantomime a person sometimes unless I vibe with them pretty well. Quickly. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Well, that's the thing, you can start at like a base level and then build it up, I guess. Because you're very similar to me in that sense. You can be plunked with someone and you, you'll start low. They can do a presentation. <laughs> yeah. And then you can work your way up. Got me life for the party. I don't like to be. I'm not saying I inadvertently be, but like, it depends who I'm chameleoning with. Um, but yeah, in the middle of a party, I tend not to be. Um, so yeah. Um, are you highly motivated and energetic on a day-to-day -day basis? Absolutely not. If you were to uh, just see me day to day when I'm not streaming, 
Uh, I lie in the bed behind me and I watch YouTube and I do pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. Um, I want to do stuff. Not motivated enough to do it, apparently. Uh, I am um, overweight. I'm not obese. I wouldn't say I'm ob well, I might be obese. I might be considered obese to some medical professionals, but uh, I'd love to change it. I try to exercise every morning, but I think that's just not making me very fat at the minute rather than actually getting me fit. So, yeah. Um, energetic is just not a word I would describe myself as. Like, at all. So, we're going to go, no, I'm not. Um, I don't think there's any confusion in it either. It's definitely not. Um, like it doesn't change much day to day. I might feel a bit better to do something day to day, but it's never... I wouldn't call myself a highly motivated person. If anything, the only thing that motivates me is other people's approval. Which translates to some different ways. Like, what if I have a job to do, or things like that? But no, I'm not. And finally, honestly, do you tend to be lazy? Right, apps are fucking lootly. Apps are fucking lootly. So let me try and go over this then. Uh, I'm what I call myself a professional lazy person. I will do the minimum work possible until I'm satisfied with the work I've done. Now, that's a bit, that can get a bit broad when it comes to other people's opinion of stuff. So if I'm given a task to do, say Mr. Midnight asked me to make something, I would do it to the quality he wanted, but no more. Not the quality I wanted. Say I, say I didn't care. I wasn't forced. I'd do it the mi minimal. Uh... No, I would do it to what they wanted me to, to, to be. So that's why it's a professional lazy person, because I'm not doing it at the loss of other people. So when I'm at work, you won't see that I'm doing a shit job, but I will be hitting my targets, I won't be exceeding them. Um, which I am aware isn't a great trait, but thankfully because my need to impress other people um, motivates me as much as I'd really want to work um, it doesn't hinder me too much it doesn't hinder me too much at all um, so yeah we are definitely I am definitely lazy um, I think outside of Puff Daddy I'm the laziest person I know so is mind at work for sure huh? You start exceeding your stars. Yeah, that's the thing. If you if you set the bar low, they'll just expect you to keep hitting that bar. But what will happen? What happened to me was people start looking at you and be like, "Look, you can absolutely you've nailed on these targets. Why well, can't do them higher?" And I'll just be honest with them because no point lying. I was like, "Look, I have no reason to go any higher." But then they'll up my targets, which I'm fine with. I'm absolutely fine with up my targets. If I, if 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 they need to make me work harder, then that's absolutely understandable. If I'm hitting my targets though, and that's fine, then that's fine. Um, whereas if you go in guns blazing, getting all your shit done, getting everyone's shit done, then they just expect that to be that forever, and then you burn yourself out, and there's no point. I am lazy. Let's see what I get. Calculate results. The fuck is this? The fuck is this? The fuck is this? The fuck is this? I shit one of those this morning. You should get a tiny, glamorous dog. You need a dog that is just like you. Feisty, sensational, with a cheerful spirit and a warm heart, like a Yorkshire Terrier. A Yorkie is quite full of himself and has an endearing soft side. You've always dreamed of being more like a supermodel and now you can
I'm not pleased with this. I think the text is kind of right, I guess. But I'm a bit disappointed by the dog that it recommends. So Zombie Girl also got a Yorkie. We had similar answers, but then you got a Golden Retriever. Golden... Oh, Labrador. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I eat fur regularly for some reason. Tiny glamorous log, nice. <laughs> I got a Dachshund. You should get a proud, intelligent dog. The perfect dog for you is one of small size, but with a big personality. For instance, a Dachshund. You would not be able to resist it with its long, strapping body on those tiny legs and the smart look in their eyes. It would make a delightful addition to your family and home. That's cool. I think that's finally one that might have fit you, uh, Mr. Midnight. A good hard work dog like a Labrador. Is that what did you what did you get, Ipsies? I know you I know you said it's the same as your dogs, but I can't remember. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I don't I don't agree with this thing. Um Oh wait, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I thought that's what you meant. I just wasn't sure. I, thought, I wasn't sure if you were referencing somebody else. I would also go. Um, Blood Boar, are you able to put Labrador, the text for Labrador in? Because Ipsys can't, unfortunately. He's on a phone. Lab Retriever. You should get a big, smart, hard-working dog. Your perfect fit would probably be America's most popular dog, a Labrador Retriever. Uh, you need a sunny, smart, hard-working dog, which is a good-natured and friendly. A retriever would make both a responsive companion and a useful worker. Nice! Just kind of offended. Oh, she came back, did she? Jane, we're not, we're not, we're not getting... We're not getting the Yorkshire Terrier. We're not getting the Yorkshire Terrier. Oh man. Who put the fucking jumper on it? The poor thing. It doesn't even look happy. Got a lab. Nice. Looks like an overstyled scrotum. For the f oh, what if it is clicked? What's it just done? What are you working on? I want to check something. Uh, how do I do the thing I want to do? Just gonna, because the wearing one, I just wanna. Usually not sure. Probably a lot. I'm gonna put not sure because I don't worry about the bigger things. I just want to say. I just want to say. Do you think I'm not sure? Feeling more tired. 
I'm tied into the dog. What? Totally. Uh, no. Uh, yes. <laughs> Fucking hell. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So there you go. It, literally, if I... If we took into account that maybe I don't worry too much... Because not worried about the bigger things. Because I put... Yes, I worry a lot, but really... The bigger things I don't worry about. Because I just think about them. Um... Clearly a small doggo man, apparently, yeah. So, so I don't think anyone got this one, which is quite convenient. But, uh, yeah. So... Uh, your f so you should get a small, happy, curious dog. Your fit is a small, happy, inquisitive dog, like a beagle. Uh, an active, merry, fun-loving companion with a gentle temperament. Beagles can do well in both houses and apartments. They are determined, loving, and outgoing, as well as excellent talent. See, that doesn't, that doesn't, I like beagles, but that doesn't fit me as well. So unfortunately, I think the first one was right. 